everyone. Rhonda without an H here. Today I have a little different junk journal that I'm sharing with you. This one is literally more junk junk. Um, I finished it a while ago but I've never done a video of it and I thought it would be fun to show you. So I have taken a Marie Callender's pop pie box and made a journal out of it. I've done a Midori, bing, Midori style back or uh, <sighs> to put my uh, journal pages in. Sorry. <laughs> It must be early in the morning for me. Uh, junk. So I've just... And this one literally has just a ton of uh, of junk. But it's it's fun. So I call it my Funky Junk Journal. Um, and you can see through here that the pot pie is in here. And obviously a chicken. And, you know, yeah, I'm out of here. Hello. <laughs> Who wants to be a dinner? <laughs> All right. So I have taken out the top and the bottom parts. And I did leave the closures on. And I just put a very simple, um, just a button and some uh, seam binding. Okay. So let's get started. I just want to do kind of a quick one today. All right. Here's a uh, junk envelope. I did a lot of um, painting. Um, I used quite a bit of washi tape. I used wrappers from McDonald's, um, sacks, uh, all kinds of things. Um, this is a McDonald's wrapper. I did a lot of stitching on this one as well but this is not I don't technically call this my mixed media um, because I did mostly paper on this with just a little bit of lace however it was still a, a really fun fun project so tag that's been stitched on to a card, those flyer things, those inserts that you get in magazines in the mail. They want you to subscribe. Yeah. And then this is a paper sack from McDonald's stitched on. Uh, this is from a magazine. Added a little bit of painting. My own artwork. More. I had a lot of, by the way, I had a lot of images that when I, a few years ago, started Pinterest I went crazy printing out images and then I just didn't use them for anything and so when I did this junk journal I thought you know I've had these images sitting here for two or three years it's time to kind of use them up and so you'll see a lot of that through here just fun little pockets fun tags fun And this is a little bit of painting, uh, washi tape. I use quite a bit of washi tape as well. And my um, dyed uh, seam binding. This is an envelope. You can see the window there. Uh, napkin that I glued on to an envelope again. Uh, this was done with doing a dragging my pick that I use on my hair. Actually, I have two of them and one I used to craft with. <laughs> and drug it through the paint, wet paint, and that created uh, the little squares that you see here. Um, I also used a potato chip bag. Um, and that's what you see here. Another window envelope. Another one of those McDonald's that I stitched together made a pocket. 
Uh, these little round goody things here, those are ironed uh, cupcake papers that you put your batter in. Um, just fun, embellished. I This was fun. I did all kinds of things on this one. And here's some mail that I received. I love to put the stamps, and I did some doilies. And on the other side, here we've got a Subway a deli paper. I've got some more images, stamps. This gives a really long name, but it spells out uh, a chew, which actually there is that makes people sneeze there's an official name here for it and it's it's actually rather funny another envelope with vintage images I love vintage don't you love vintage <gasps> I do and I love this image so much you know I'm just like okay ah, choo and this is a uh, deli paper that I've just, I don't know if it was, it was probably a paint paper underneath some of my projects. More doily, just magazine images and or Pinterest images. <gasps> you guys, I love Dolly Dingle. Oh, I love Dolly Dingle. I don't know why, but she's just the cutest little friendliest paper doll ever in the world. And so I included a couple of little Dolly Dingle images. Um, she's just so sweet. She just brings back some fun, fun memories of young. And who doesn't love a cupcake? You know, this... Mm, okay. Here is a small paper bag that I just turned into a little pocket. Put something in. I haven't got anything in there presently, but you can. Uh, washi tape, um, different papers. <laughs> you don't think Emerald will mind, do you? That I <laughs> I put a little mustache on Emerald. Um, just a fun little food type collage, cooking type collage. And of course she's taking a look at these cupcakes which happen to be from a paper napkin except the, the center one. Dare I? Do I dare? She's skinny, I don't know. This is uh, this is mixed media right here with the cloth underneath that I've frayed around the edge and then uh, this was just one of those images that I printed out that didn't know what to do with, but I like it. And then this is painted with a pretty little bird image with the fruit, flower, more painting. Um, I thought this was a sweet image. And this, of course, is an old envelope as well. And this tag has been made from a paint chip, you know, that you get from the store. You know, I, do you guys ever wonder, worry about, I, I, is it really, are we stealing when we take those paint chips? I, I kind of wonder to myself, I've, I've done it and I, ah, uh, but I wonder. So I never, when I do take, I only take a few. You know, I just don't feel comfortable taking everything there because I know that it did cost money to produce those. But anyway, that's one of those. Okay, now you know I'm bad. I still paint chips. All right. Okay. Another fun little tag. This one, I did my Posca pens. I was just playing around on another paint chip and this is part of my potato chip 
crinkly bag on another envelope with the tag on painted papers and just those fun images that I told you I had printed out a ton of. This is also a paper napkin. Um, more images, little paint, more paint, old images. This is a fun page. I do like the vintage look. I really do. It's just a fun. And she, these girls are saying, how come she gets all of the cool guys? And, I mean, who doesn't want a cool guy in that swimming outfit, right? <laughs> a little pocket, the envelope that I had that I added some washi tape and, again, that paint chip. Um, sensitive suffer more, but they love more and dream more. Augusto Curry. I thought that was nice. Just, I thought this is an image that would fit with her. She appears to be kind of a sensitive sort. Another envelope that I've done painting and stitching. Uh, a lot of these, actually. I haven't specifically said, but most of these envelope, these pockets and things have been stitched on my trusty little sewing machine. A doily that I have painted and added some embellishments. And here we have our ice cream page. We've And where do you get dilly bars? Oh, Dairy Queen, of course. This is an old image that I found. And obviously, uh, obviously at some point I had a, a dilly bar. So we had a little fold out here, tip out. Just, just fun. Fun, fun. And then we have another fold out or tip out this way with more images, painting, um, washi tape. And here is another pocket. And these images have, uh, the uh, images are um, paper napkins glued on. And this is an envelope, as is this, another envelope that I received in the mail. And just added some of my papers, randomly glued them on. And here's the inside of the envelope. You see the whole thing here. And here we've got a little glassine bag. Now this is before I was coffee dyeing anything. And I don't drink coffee myself. I only buy the instant cheap stuff in Walmart so I can uh, coffee dye my papers. And so that's why this doesn't have as much crinkle to it. Because it's not coffee dyed. And I had just discovered glassine. And those of you that follow me, you know that I love glassine bags and the crinkle and the mm, yum, yum, yum. Um, <laughs> oh, is this just the cutest picture? Is that just the sweetest dog? Then he, of course, is thinking, how could you think that I ate that? Ate it. And in all likelihood, he probably did. <laughs> and a pocket. Um, one of my little tabs, this is on a security envelope, and the one tab came off, but it still works. More fun images. And then we have our last tip out. And the rest of those uh, potato chip 
just some random things, some painting that I did. And I can take these out if I want because I did it Midori style. That's. But that, my friends, that is it. Thank you very much for watching, for going on this kind of a memory journey for me. It's been fun. I hope you like it. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Give me a thumbs up. Make a comment. I always reply to comments. And have a fabulous day. Bye now.